We all want to live peacefully in this fast-paced modern world. With everything happening in our internal and external worlds, we desire to have order in our lives. However, we may feel overwhelmed with our desire for order and end up feeling anxious and preoccupied. In this book, we learn how to manage the anxiety that keeps troubling our thoughts in the tyranny of the modern world. This book tells us that life satisfaction comes from self-trust in finding meaning and purpose in every action and moment we've undergone. Here are the top seven lessons from the book Beyond Borders by Jordan Peterson. Lesson one, engage in tasks that improve you. In everything we do, we should always seek improvement that will empower our skills and abilities. It might be too challenging to show off our skills at first, but exercising diligence and perseverance can make it happen. This book teaches us to think positively, whatever our work we find ourselves in. We should learn to openly accept greater responsibilities or tasks, if doing so means challenging ourselves to be better, which then leads to career advancement. Instead of being distracted by the chaos surrounding us, we need to focus on the most important thing to improve ourselves. Lesson 2. Create a Triumphant Journey This book helps unravel our purpose and sense in this world. Peterson believes that we're complex beyond our understanding. We might not know our purpose yet, but surely there are life opportunities that we haven't ventured yet. We're part of a force that confronts the unknown, understands evil, and turns chaos into order. He emphasizes that our journey in life should build purpose and strength to handle our fears. Our road to success might be crooked or rough, and with no shortcuts, we must still ensure that whatever path we take leads us to a meaningful and productive life. Lesson 3. Conquer Your Fears Everyone has their fears and struggles. No one is exempt from that feeling of pain and turmoil. However, some are strong people who can handle their fears in order. Fears can paralyze our goals and ambition if we don't bravely overcome them. So we must conquer our fear to continue moving forward to reach success. Often we're afraid to make a decision that we think will lead to failure due to our past experiences. However, we need to admit our weakness and trample our pride. Ruminating on our past mistakes won't help us and will only cause harm and inhibit us from moving forward. Therefore, instead of running away or hiding from our fears, we need to face them with a strong mind and faith. Lesson 4. Take responsibility for everything we do. Failures may happen most of the time if we tend to abandon our responsibilities. We may avoid harm by making ourselves hands-on in every decision and action we're making. We need to take advantage of the challenges that engage and compel alertness and improve courage, skill, and talent no matter how difficult it is. It is part of our responsibility to seek welfare for ourselves and others. We can also find genuine happiness when we get to fulfill our commitments. Success defines how responsible we are in every task we do and every obligation we commit to do. So aside from taking credit for our accomplishments, we also need to be accountable for our actions and decisions. Lesson 5. Care for your happiness One of the book's lessons is that we should not do what we hate, since this will only lead us to a miserable life. Sometimes we do some tasks we don't like out of obligation. In these instances, joy in doing the job is absent. Let us remember that we can create something better if we love what we're doing, because it makes us think it's worth the effort. Doing things simply out of compliance or obligation will only produce bitterness and unhappiness. And when we do so for a long time, it'll eventually lead to anger and anxiety because of the pressure and stress that other people give. Before losing ourselves, let us remember that doing the things we love radiates fulfillment and satisfaction, leading to happiness and meaningful deeds. Lesson 6. Commit yourself to the things that matter most. Countless articles about success revolve around how people commit to their job, studies, or business. There may be a lot of opportunities we're willing to take, but we should stay focused on the things that matter most to us. For instance, if we want to be successful businessmen, we should first seek business strategies to make our business successful. We should always persevere and work harder in a particular area of our lives. We want to improve. If we're genuinely committed to our goals, making sacrifices may not be hard for us. Goal and direction will be our great help to face challenges and struggles. Lesson 7. Practice Gratitude Despite Suffering Sufferings, anxieties, pains, struggles, and other forces that make our lives difficult or miserable only give us dismay, discouragement, timidity, and cowardice. However, Peterson teaches us to be grateful despite the suffering we've encountered. The feeling of grief and sadness due to our failures is a heavy burden, but this intense feeling may blind us from seeing the better things and opportunities that come next. Setbacks serve as an excellent avenue to courageously create better or new ways or tactics to achieve success. Indeed, life can be demanding and full of suffering, but every aspect of our lives is worth living and is something to be grateful for. In conclusion, this book is truly worth reading. Each page is an eye-opener and is a source of knowledge and wisdom. The author inspires the readers to create a new version of themselves, to face the world and overcome the tyranny of the modern generation. We may want to live a chaotic free life, but we also should not aim for too much order. 
Living a balanced life will help us navigate through our day to day with a sense of purpose, meaning, and fulfillment. Thank you for listening. If you like the book summary and you want to see more in this category, please like and subscribe so I can create more. You can also get a free copy of the entire audiobook by clicking the link in the description. Until next time.